This video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University, one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings based in the U.S., offering a cybersecurity program to teach and build your career in cybersecurity. Use the code on the screen here or in the link in the description below for more information. Yet another dumb influencer trend video. So as I continue to progress in this industry, documenting my journey on this YouTube channel since 2018, I thought about how I would drop on this trend and overview maybe just a few lessons on what I've learned so far, a few anecdotes of information that I can pass along. Now, of course, my list of what I wish I knew before I begin in cybersecurity is not limited to just these lessons. And as I continue to learn and broaden my perspective, things will change. So here listed on the screen is a list of my lessons or overall insights I wish I knew before getting started in this field. And you're welcome now to click off the video. Expanding on these eight points, starting out with ethical hacking, penetration testing, uh, or even the SOC. And, and when I had first started this journey of security, I had thought that security really meant either being an ethical hacker or perhaps being somebody who is placed in a SOC. And these are two small areas, very important areas, but very they're still small. In the grand scheme of security, these are just one or two little professions. And I realized security is huge. Take a look at this mind map here of domains listed. And this is not even, you know, including the new updated forms of trends. And there's always an evolving landscape of positions and security. So if you ever get bored or you want to transition, you can because there's a lot of stuff you can do in this industry. Two, stay updated in reading the news and information overload. So staying updated by reading the security news 15 minutes a day, if you can, is a good idea. Listen to podcasts, do whatever you need to stay updated on the most recent attacks, breaches, technologies, and stories. This helps you learn new concepts and remain informed on what's happening with the overall attack landscape. Um, now, with all of this information, you're going to feel information overload. And if you're just starting in cybersecurity, you, pr you probably have some understanding of what this looks like. This field offers limited clarity on where to exactly start um, because there's just so much information you can learn. Now, I continue to feel overwhelmed and imposter syndrome throughout my information overload. And it, it, it's a real thing and it can really cause burnout. Now, the best thing that I've learned so far is that all you can really do is maintain one step at a time. And so I guess the cringy way of saying it is like reading one article or listening to one video lecture, just doing one thing at a time is what how I've learned to stay updated, but try to manage information overload. Three is an idea that I got from security professional Daniel Meisler, which is center your career around problem solving. So when you think about problem solving, think about problem spaces. This is how you go from being a quality to an exceptional or transformational candidate. And this is something that uh, I'm being challenged on right now and learning right now in my own position. Um, be proactive with your time. And if you have free time, you have freedom in your job, or you have some side time, uh, create, optimize, and build various different solutions to problems that you find intriguing or interesting. Whether that's you know writing or getting started with a small script, a tool, or chaining together various program, onboarding programs, or even just you know writing documentation, sending your whole career, I guess, around problem spaces rather than just one specific tool or uh, one specific area can help you stay ahead of the curve. Four, always stay curious. Stay curious. Attempt to always be open-minded and learn something new. Even when you feel apathy or jadedness in this industry or towards your career, there will be many boring components of security. And you know you have redundant processes, meetings, documentation, problem space reviews, and more. And really what I'm trying to do, again, this is another thing I'm learning is Always stay curious, always question, and try to learn something new. Speaking of staying curious and learning, this transitions me into today's sponsor, seamlessly a transition, at Southern New Hampshire University's cybersecurity program. If you're considering a new career, possibly cybersecurity, but you're finding that your current job experience is holding you back or you're not finding fulfillment in that job, then Southern New Hampshire University or SNHU, they might be the perfect fit for you in your career. SNHU is one of the largest accredited nonprofit offerings in 
in the country that offers a fully online cybersecurity degree program that helps you build skills that are in demand today. Through their cybersecurity program, you'll learn how to solve complex cybersecurity problems while applying systems and adversarial thinking to build your overall skill set. And, and these include the following. You gain an understanding of that hacker mindset and how to respond in real time with adaptive instant response, identify and define computing requirements to solve those problems, make informed judgments on computing practice based off of the legal and ethical principles. And finally, you get to choose the general study track of cybersecurity in the bachelor's degree program, and then you get two career-focused concentrations in your program. And this includes data analytics, project management fundamentals. Now, SNHU is affordable, and their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. And snhu.edu forward slash Grant Collins are on the screen here to find out more on SNHU. Now, looking back, one thing I really do wish I'd known before starting my career in cybersecurity was the foundations and quality of good education. Having access to programs like SNHU provide a great start for anyone who's looking to get started in this field. Um, like I said, their offerings are that kind of foundation that I wish I had known uh, and prepares you for the challenges that you're going to face in security. So when you request information in the cybersecurity degree program, a real person will hop on a call and discuss any uh, questions or how the program works in general. And you can, like I said, use the link in the description below on the screen here to find out more on SHU cybersecurity program. Thanks to SNHU for sponsoring today's video. Five is burnout. Burnout is real. So the first six months of 2024 was really the first time that I felt major burnout in this industry. You know, doing my day job and then doing YouTube and then self-study projects, I was getting pretty apathetic towards my career. And burnout is real. And, and the consistent anxiety that I think a lot of us have with either not expanding your skill set, not learning, or, you know, not feeling good enough, you know, imposter syndrome, this leads you to feelings of apathy and also a vicious cycle of burnout. And what I've realized is take care of yourself. If you have those moments, try to just take care of yourself in whatever way you can. Six is stay and be open to connection. Now, you are your network, as some some person said, but really get involved and stay connected. You know, being open, staying connected, I've missed these opportunities and the InfoSec community is awesome. Reach out, connect with people, however that is. Seven is the entry-level dilemma. So I've made many different videos on this by now, but cybersecurity isn't in a place, in my opinion, of being an entry-level friendly career. With the amount of experience and previous knowledge, qualifications, and IT, there's just a lot you must know. And there's a hiring expectation gap. There's a qualifications benchmark. It's not an easy career to just transition into. Now, realize that if you are in this position, it, it takes time and possibly just luck to land an entry-level opportunity. Staying persistent in that process is probably, you know, the best anecdote I can provide or a little advice I can provide. And, and that's what I, what I recommend is to stay involved and be connected because like you said, it's kind of like, yeah, you are your network, you know? So being able to stay connected is important and realize and give yourself grace if you're having a hard time with those entry-level opportunities. All right. So Eight is enjoy what you do. Okay, this is a cliche, of course. Now, in my opinion, you don't need a passion in cybersecurity. This is an opinion that's changed uh, since being in this industry. I thought you needed a passion. I don't think you really need one anymore. What I think is you need a hard work ethic, you need a diligence, and you need to be willing to uh, problem solve. And centering your life around a career that makes life a little bit more enjoyable, solving interesting problems is... In my opinion, it's at least a little bit easier to wake up each Monday morning. So enjoy what you do as the cliche goes. All right, so these are some of the outstanding lessons or concepts I wish I knew before getting started in cybersecurity. If you're somebody who's attempting to break into this industry or has been in this industry, you will know that there's a lot to learn. And so what I've listed here today is subject to change and um, that's just the way of life. So maybe one of these insights has resonated with you today. You know, if, if any of them have, let me know in the link in the description below or any other lessons that you wish you knew before getting started in this industry. All right, so you know what it is. Until the next time, have a good day.